Good morning. I had a good night's sleep last night. It is 6.53. Look at Old Bahama Bay early in the morning. Very calm today. <clears throat> I'm starting make breakfast soon so I can head out fishing and uh, do some exploration that way. Last night I shut the generator because the temperature dropped. There was no need for it. Now look at that. The anchor alarm is about to go off. Look at that. Yes, sun is about to come up. I turned the air conditioner on already. Last night, I didn't even wake up one time. Usually, I wake up a lot. I wake up like three times at night time. But last night, since this is so calm, look at this glass. Since I was so calm, I didn't wake up not even once. Gotta check out the weather today and also gotta check out the weather for tomorrow. See if the weather window for tomorrow to head out back to Florida. Look at that beautiful sunrise. Alright, today for breakfast, some nitrate free bacon and one potato. That's gonna be breakfast for today. another one. Yeah, cooking inside the father house is way better than going outside for every little thing. Plus I can keep an eye on the food. This X here look better than in the skillet outside. It's here, the temperature is more controlled. Outside, the wind is hitting it. Compares this blueberry pancake mix with the blueberries inside already, as you can see. So I'm just ready to make the pancakes. So by the time the blueberry pancake is getting uh, cooked, I can eat my breakfast. I have the air conditioner running because once the sun comes out, it starts getting hot real quick. Look how beautiful the pancakes are getting cooked. Almost broke it, but look at that. Looks beautiful. Look at the beautiful pancake. Square just like the plate. Blueberry pancake. It's my favorite pancake. Even though the ocean is rough in the middle of the uh, Gulf Stream, over here at the Bahamas, the water is real calm. All right, it's time to go fishing. Close this hash. Drop clear.
Look at that water there. That's just incredible. You see that ledge right there? 400 feet. Look at that. 400 feet ledge. There's some fish right there. So I'm going to be right on the ledge of 400 feet. So, so right around 200 to 400 feet ledge. It just goes right straight down. See what happens here? All right, the Minkota is making up his mind to spot lock. Should be done soon. Let's go fishing. There goes a fresh, delicious mullet. All right. It took a little while to get to the bottom at 400 feet. Let's see what happens here. Let me get my belt. It's 
a long way down. 400 feet. There it is. Ready to hit bottom? What happens here? All right, I got something here. You gotta be fast because uh, the shark will get to it. Woo, this is a nice one. Come on up, buddy, before the shark gets to you. You got like 400 feet. Bring it up. Woo. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Look at that yellow eye snapper. That is beautiful. Look at that. Woo. All right. Look at that beautiful yellow eye snapper. Beautiful catch. And it's gonna be awesome meal. Oh, sorry, buddy. All right, same bait. It's going down the same bait. Didn't lose the bait at all. That's a beautiful yellow eye snapper. Man, I have never caught one that size. That's why West End in the Bahamas is the best place to fish. Don't tell everybody, it's just between us. I'm gonna bring it up because I think I have a fish there. It's just not as big as I thought. Look at this little fish. Look at that. Beautiful little fish. The eyes popped out. I think I got something here. Yep, I got something here. All right, 400 feet up in there. 400 feet more. Coming up. Woo! Another yellow eye snapper. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is the perfect size for dinner. There's a lot of yellow eye snapper down there. It's incredible. And by the way, they don't like mullet, they like squid. Yeah, surprisingly they only like squid. I threw the mullet down there, they like it. All right, let's catch another one. Okay, I got another one. It's gonna be another 400 feet. Another beautiful yellow eye snapper. Look at that beauty. Woo. 400 feet. I think I need an electric reel because 400 feet is a long way to go. 400 feet down, but 400 feet up, that's hard. That's a nice boat. Yeah, definitely that's a nice boat. Yeah, this is a nice spot at 400 feet. Yellow eye snapper all the time. It's incredible. Yesterday I was in a different location than today. There we go, it's going. There it is, I got it, another one. Another one, but this one is kind of small. Beautiful though. I got another one here. Right. 
All right, this is gonna be a keeper. All right, I already got four. Uh, you can keep here in the Bahamas 20. In Florida, you can only bring 10. But definitely here, drifting, you won't do that good on uh, deep dropping because what's gonna happen is you're gonna drag your lead over rocks and that's not gonna be good. You're gonna lose a lot of gear. But having the Minkota here on spot lock, it's just incredible. And only at 400 feet, and I'm doing this with uh, a good reel, but no electric, but you can still get them. Of course, electric will be better. You gotta do what you have. I got something here. something here. Another beautiful yellow eye. Whew. That's already five on the box. All right, I got another one here. All right, this is six. I did what I put some squid and a mullet cut in half so that way it's the combo meal for the fish. Let's see how they like this combo meal. Oh, they love the combo. They love the combo. Love it. They ate it up. Another nice one. All right, this is number six. And that was with a combo, some squid, and also some uh, half a mullet. It looks like uh, they like the combo. I got another one here. All right, this is seven. Beautiful. Doesn't feel that big. Ah, it feels medium. All right, this is the bigger one. All right, this is number eight. Beautiful. All right, fishing has stopped, so I'm gonna go explore one of the caves. But look what I got here. Look at all this. Yellow eye snapper. Beautiful. Probably gonna go over there, take a little break, cook some lunch, and um, I'll be back here later this evening because right now, at noon, the fishing stops. So I'll get back on it soon. Prop clear. All right, I'm gonna head to that K over there.
Wow, look at this. This is incredible. Beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the Minkota, check out if it's low tide, and um, get the Minkota so I can get to shallow waters to explore this area out a little bit here. Oh, it's incredible clear. All right, get the Minkota ready. Beautiful water. Is going down now. So I'm going to raise the motor up. The Minkota in action and uh, hit that weight to see how that area looks. I place the Minkota on the north autopilot so it's going to continue going that way and hopefully I can find a good shallow area. All right, let's see if I can fit through here. There's a shark right there, you see it? Look at the shark. Nice shark. It's very shallow here. The only way to come through here is with a Minn Kota. Or a jet ski. Look how beautiful this is right here. Yeah, definitely cannot go through there. There's a sand bank right there. getting very shallow here.
Okay, I'm stuck. Yeah, the belly of the boat was just stuck right there. Yeah, I can't go that way. Too shallow. Very shallow. I was in about a foot and a half of water. I saw a big mutant snapper here. I want to see if it's still here. Yep, I see him. He's right over there. Big mutton snapper. See if I can catch it. Look how clear this water is. Beautiful. Yep, I was in a foot and a half of water and I got stuck. Definitely can come here with uh, with upboards. If you look there, you see those cards? That's, uh, that's, that's a twin upboard. Just carving up all the seabed.
He must have come with those high tie and didn't notice. Look at that star right there. Huge. It's got to be more than 18 inches down diameter. It's beautiful. All right, I set the anchor here. I'm gonna take a little break. And um, I'm gonna clean up my fish and probably cook something. Maybe beer batter fillets. And look at that, I can see the anchor away from over here. Here's about four feet of water. But listen to this, nothing. No noise. Now, one thing is, there's a lot of sharks here and very active. So whenever I'm piloting around, they'll come towards the boat thinking that you're gonna give them food. Because what happens here is a lot of boats come here with a catch, clean the fish, throw the guts there. So, so the sharks are used to that. But look at that, it's flat calm everywhere. It's beautiful, all right. All right, now that I'm not navigating the boat, it's time for Corona. Ooh, cold to the touch. Oh, man. Uh, complete silence. Absolutely gorgeous here. All right, let's get this fish clean. It's a lot of fish. Okay, first I'm gonna clean the fish that I'm gonna take home with me. Take the guts out. Boy, the sharks are going to come here. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to take the guts out and put them like this on the cooler. Okay, this one's I'm going to fillet so I can eat it here. Let's see how much meat they got. Oh, very good. Took some of the bones out. Somebody said to cut this here like this. I don't remember who it was. Once you cut this here, then you flip it, leave the fillet under it, so you're able to cut it. See if it works. Yeah, it doesn't work. But I saw somebody doing that. Things on YouTube. Don't believe everything you hear on YouTube. That definitely did not work or I'm not doing it right. It's gonna be an awesome lunch. Oh, look at the shark. Yeah, he came back. I think he's coming from the scraps. 
I'm not feeding the shark. He just happened to be here. Look at this. Look at that. You shark. That's a nerve shark. Now there's a line of bones right in the middle that I need to take out. You can feel it with your hand. You feel the line of bones. Now, when I'm home, I don't throw away the head. I usually eat the head too, which is the best part of the fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do beer batter, fillets, because it's a lot of fillets here. So I'm going to have an awesome lunch. I'm going to try a piece of this fish. Mm. Tastes really good. Man, it tastes good. That's how I'll be cooking for lunch. And it's beer batter this. Look at that. Three snappers. Alright, I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna clean up and get the grill ready. It's great to be out here in the beautiful hot weather. Uh right now it is 80 degrees. It is really hot. I got my bit batter here. I get a little bit of oil. Okay, I'm gonna get another plate. And my secret ingredient is gonna be beer. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some beer on it. Nothing like cooking next is a little K here. Very quiet. Set for my generator, but you know what I mean. Nobody's around. Very quiet. That oil's gotta be hot already. Be right back. the rest of the fillets here can you believe there's cell phone service here right in the middle of nowhere mm, yellow eye snapper I haven't eaten yellow eye snapper in a long time well yesterday was a bad day but not every day is gonna be a good day but today is a good day it smells really good all right I'm gonna let it simmer here with the uh, seasonings the other ones being fried I'm gonna wash this up, be right back. But look at that. Beautiful waters. 5.5 feet. Very shallow. Cooking my red snapper. Enjoying the beer. What more can I ask? This is perfect. Well, I could have my wife here, but she's coming soon. That will complete my trip. But sometimes she can't come like you guys saw when i was coming over seven hours it's hard for her to do that that's why i don't bring her most of the time because it is a rough ride uh it beats you up so some of my viewers may think like why you don't take your wife with you is that can she put up what i put up with remember i really abused my body coming here seven hours no sleep traveling but I love stuff like that, I really do. 
All right, that fish, I'm gonna go flip it, put some more in, and lunch by the island should be done. Smells really good. Look at that. Good. See right now I'm running the air conditioner. It makes it feel really good in here. To run the air conditioner, running the generator, cooking my food, keeping the cabin cold, and charging the Minkota batteries. Right there as you see. And the reason I want to keep my Minkota lithium batteries fully charged is I'm gonna go to the same spot that I was getting the yellow eye snapper. See if I can get some more. Uh, to take home and also if anything happens I have the Mikoda as a backup so I can go back to Old Bahama Bay if the main engine fails so I like to keep my Mikoda batteries fully charged so what better way to run the air conditioner and then charge the batteries take advantage of that and the food is almost done nobody in sight look at this looks awesome Beer batter fillet of yellow eye snapper. Beautiful. And I brought some tartar sauce. Definitely that goes for the beer because it's beer batter. Okay, let's break this up. Look at that. Flaky white meat. Let's see what it tastes with the tartar sauce. Wow, this is incredible flavor. Mm. All right, I'm going to take a half an hour nap. Set my alarm. Alright guys, I'm going to take a little break now. And I'll continue this trip on the next video. And if you like this video, please don't forget to thumb it up. Thank you for watching. And always navigate safe.